Hey guys, it's Kenny Guthrie fishing inside the lines. We're at Lake Fork, March 2nd. We are pumped. I'm with one, a, a guide, not a guide, but my son named Grant Guthrie, who is a very good crop fisher. We're going to show you some techniques today that are just going to flip your switch. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Dad's backing us in. And we are on the west side of Lake Fork, hopefully to find them not quite spawning, but uh, in shallow water. That's what we love fish in shallow water. All right, we got a fish right here on the tree. Uh, the, probably the strike zone is eight to 12 feet. Now he's gonna try to bring that bait right down there on top of that. And again, he's trying to keep that thing lined up with his trolling motor. He's tapping it, wind's blowing. Ah, oh, I thought I had him on that one. Let me get him a better job. Wind's blowing pretty good, so it's, it's, it's a little tough to try to keep him on it. Got his bait behind it. He's gonna to try to bring his bait up to the beach. Oh, I went past him. So he's going out by him. He's just inching that motor up to the fish. Keeping that bait above that fish. Any second that fish ought to be seeing that bait coming up. Here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Got him. Do a good fish too. Yep. Nice fish. This is a typical Lake Fork fish right here, boys. Big old slab right there. That might be big old I mean, That's a big old fish. Big old fish. Woo. That's what you come for, guys. That's, that's the Lake Fork crappie right there. You might be a pound and a half. Yep. Big old fish. It's that new Bubba weight scale it has an app, and then it'll you actually can look on your app. There we go. Locked in at 179. I'm gonna reweigh him because it's showing some weight already on the scale. And it should be a clear button to the right of that. Right? There you go. Uh, zero now. Okay. One eight two. One eight. All right. All right. Nice fish, man. Yes, sir. one that's underneath the limb. Super hard to see. Look, he's, he's disappeared. I think that's one right there. So again, he's taking the trolling motor and he's going against the wind. You always point into the wind and then he's going to I'm in the zone, just not quite. He's in there 
Oh, he's right there. Yep. He's just in a great spot. The fish is right underneath that limb. It's kind of hard to get to. So we're trying to get on one side of the limb, and then if that don't work, we get on the other side of the limb. Comes. Got him. Got him. Here we go. There's yep, there's several fish. We're probably going to keep this because we want to eat some fish. He might go. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Hang on, sir. Come up slow. I think you had one on you. Go down. Go for this guy. Down. Down. Hang on, sir. We're almost there. Hang on. Hang on. Come up slow, come up slow, come up slow. Yes. Got him. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> A little late. All right. Hey, I just want to say that when you're looking at this graph, there's been a lot of times you'll see a hard return on the trees and you think it's a fish, you'll see some stuff like, like that. that right there. That right there. Or you'll see a hard return at the top. Don't waste your time with those guys. If it's not a, a dime or a quarter size and got a movement and round, just keep going. One of my biggest problems uh, is just sitting there trying to catch something that's not there. Hard returns uh, are not fish most of the time. So just remember that. Keep drilling. Okay, bring him straight up. Straight up. Keep coming straight up. Straight up with him. Keep coming hard. Come on. Come on. Out of boy, Si. Good, Good job, Si. Way to go, buddy. Hey, Si. Give me a thumbs up. Take my neck. Oh, you're welcome. I can take this thing out. Okay. Hey, Si, you want to show me the fish? Here, hold it for a popper real quick. Pick him up by the mouth and hold it for a strong popper. Well, why did I get this off? Oh, wrestle what? him, Si. Here we go, look at Papa. Give me a smile, Si. Yeah, all right. Jake just fell out. All right. So there's the live scope. Pretty Amazing. slim pickings right now. Yeah, a little tough at Lake Fork, and we still have probably 15 in the box. So, uh, probably caught, I don't know, seven or eight over a pound. Just caught a pound and a half or so it's been pretty good. This is Graham Guthrie, all right. And uh, we're just out here trying to have a good time. Lake Fork is amazing. Today is a little tough. A little windy, a little slow. Most of the guys are catching them on the bridge right now. It's March 2nd, and there are probably 12 boats we saw actually lined up along the bridge, so they're, they're running up to spawn. All right, so we had a super windy day. It was pretty slow for Lake Fork standards, but Sai si caught a few, Oak caught a few, Jack caught a few. How many, how many we got? 16 fish, not terrible. I think our I think our biggest one was like a one eight, almost one nine. Where's the biggest one, y'all? We have a black. Hey guys, this is Kenny back again with fishing inside the lines. Oh, poor Ben's been sick for a couple of weeks, so he relied on me to put something together. What you found in just watching us catch some crappie on live scope, just seeing some tactics, what it, they kind of look like on the screen, keeping that bait above the fish. Uh, 
covering a lot of ground, uh, quit looking at hot spots on trees, uh, find out that the crappie is round, it doesn't have a big fin coming out of it, and you know uh, that you, you just quit wasting time. If he ain't biting, if you're not on him, you run him over, just go to the next fish, but cover a lot of ground when you're trying to move and catch crappie. My big tip of the day is going to be it takes time. There is no shortcuts on, on live scope. When I went out with a guy teaching me a little bit, he said, you're going to want to throw it all in the, in the lake before you learn it. And he's right. And it's, it's a minimum of 40 hours on the water and probably 60 to really learn what you're doing. And then it's, a, then it's just a bunch after that. So these guys that are doing it have been spent the time on the water. That's my big takeaway today. We, we caught some slabs at Lake Fork. Lake Fork is amazing and had a good time with my son, Grant, who fishes competitively and I want to be like him, but it, I can't unless I spend the time on the water. So God bless you. Uh, know that here's the final thing I'll say. There is no guarantee when you're fishing. You know, it's either, sometimes it's just off, but there is a guarantee when you know Christ. He 100% paid for you and paid for your sins and gives you eternal life. So that'll be my 100% tip for the day. Fishing inside the lines, good to talk to you guys. God bless you and good, we'll look forward to seeing you again.